G'day, JB here. Uh, we're here at Sunny Mundaring today, this afternoon, just having a bit of a practice throw. What I thought I'd do this afternoon is just test out some of the differences between some of the uh, swords that are out there on the market at the moment. So what I have with me today is a VIP sword, a tournament sword, uh, one of the new Orbit swords from the Westside box, the very recently released Tournament Ice Sword and Erika Stinchcomb's Tournament X Sword. This is the most overstable of the swords. Thank you, Erika, for getting these made because they are great. Okay, so here's the first throw with the VIP Sword. Uh, slight turnover with just a gentle finish there at the end. So we now have the tournament sword and what you will see here is it is quite a similar sort of flight although the, the camera can't, can't show you quite so well maybe slightly more turn. The orbit sword here uh, definitely goes a lot straighter a little bit of turn to the right and a very light little finish. We now have the tournament ice sword it flew very similar to the VIP and the tournament, um, probably just a slightly harder finish, but it was brand new. And here's the Erika Stinchcomb uh, Tournament X, and you can see that has a way, way harder highs of flight to the left. I throw them pretty low, so uh, you won't see uh, huge amounts of variation here. Here we're going back up the hill, there wasn't a great deal of wind uh, on the day. Uh, that was the VIP sword again. Here is the tournament sword again, just a hint more turn before it turn, uh, finished to the left and forward. Absolutely blew this throw with the orbit sword and turned it over and it went way right. But it can do that. Here's the tournament ice sword again. Um, again. Similar flights, a little bit of harder finish, but really good distance with that. Probably the longest disc of all of the five. And here is the Tournament X Sword again. Hard, hard finish, big skip to the left. Okay, so that was my review on the West Side Sword. The flight numbers on the Sword are 12 speed, 5 glide, negative 0 0.5 turn, and 2 fade. Uh, now, I'm not a particularly um, long, strong thrower of a disc. I'm probably maxing out around 350 feet, about 100 to 110 metres on the flat. Uh, so I think the discs may well fly quite differently in the hands of a pro compared to myself. But uh, I, I do believe that for the medium to slower arm speeds, uh, if you're looking for a 12-speed option, uh, the sword is a really good uh, one to have a look at. It's uh, probably a little bit underrated in the lineup, um, doesn't get the attention it deserves. But I carry three. I've carried a tournament sword for um, a really long time. I also carry an orbit sword now for those slow turnovers, and um, I also carry a tournament X sword. Having a look at the uh, the videos, you could sort of see that um, the the VIP and the tournament uh, swords flew pretty close to the flight numbers. In fact, um, for myself, uh, as did the tournament ice sword. But what I found with the tournament ice sword, there might have been a slight hint of extra finish, um, and there's a little bit of extra distance. So it may have just had a slight amount of extra glide and certainly for a, a brand new disc it seemed to perform pretty well and actually um, went further than the uh, the other versions. Uh, the Orbit Sword most definitely a lot more understable um, but it's a slow turn and um, a nice sort of uh, gentle finish and that's uh, really useful um, as a slightly different variation on what I have already and the Tournament X Swords completely different beast altogether definitely uh, just uh, for all out hyzers I used um, tournament, sword, tournament X Swords uh, quite consistently uh, in my last tournament and uh, I found them to be really really reliable so um, I reckon it's worthwhile having a look at a sword if you haven't had a look before um, you've seen how they fly in different plastics for myself um, definitely the Tournament X sword uh, has, has a great amount of uh, over stability but the other ones are fantastically controllable uh, nice gentle fade as well 
um, which is a uh, really handy sort of driver to have in your, da your bag. So uh, try them out, guys. Uh, hopefully um, this has sort of given you a little bit more idea on uh, what uh, some of the different plastics do um, with that particular disc. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you out in the course. Be dynamic. Yeah.